I'm Ryan Hurd from uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Very nice. 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 Yeah, who uh, are you? Uh, if you're watching interactive interviews, my name's Noah, this is Sam. Uh, today we are at Country Thunder 2017 in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin. Uh, we're having a great deal of fun here. Uh, Sam is a cow, as you can see, uh, in honor of Wisconsin's heritage as a milk and cheese state. But, but nobody wants to know about who I am. They yeah. all we all want to know about Ryan Earn. What? So what? Uh, how long have you been considering yourself a performer? How long have you been doing very, this? The performing thing is very recent. I, I, I got into this as a songwriter. Yes. So I've been a songwriter in Nashville for like four or five years, and I just recently like made my own music and have been on a record company. So. But I think, I think it's more interesting that you're wearing a cow suit than anything else that's happening right now. What was, what, can you tell us some of your highlights as far as songwriting go? So yeah, I mean, I, I, I've had my songs recorded by a bunch of people in Nashville, um, like Dirks and Florida Georgia Line and Blake Shelton, kind of number one with him, and then I have a song on the radio right now with Lady Annabella, and, you know, and a lot of other people too. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just been something I've been passionate about, kind of chased down, and I'm really, really fortunate to like have that platform to like kind of launch my artist stuff too. And you've uh, you released an EP as like your debut, like a four title track EP. Tell us a little bit about that. I just started recording an album, and then we, you know, last year released like songs kind of underground, just like streaming only, uh, and just one at a time, once a month, and uh, re-release those as like a, a package you can purchase this year, and uh, I just, I've always like, since I've been doing this, tried to like record and write songs that don't sound like anything else on the radio, uh, just like trying to like, experiment with like kind of the 808s or any kind of electronic Yeah, like, it's just, like We Do Us is a song on that EP and it's all 808 based. Really? So like all the tones are electronic and we like mixed some, like after the demo we, we did mix some like real bass guitar into it but yeah dude I love like just, the thing about country music that, that keeps it all like connected is the lyrics. Yeah. And I'm not really that scared of trying different. foundation. Yeah, and I'm not too worried about creating sound, like, like if it sounds a little bit different that's a good thing, it means it's cutting through the noise. So that's, that's what we've always kind of strived to do. What's your favorite part of the cow? Not this cow, just the cow, you know, top sirloin, um, brisket. Oh, no, the ribeye, man. That's, ribeye? Yeah. That's where it's at? Excellent, yeah. But also, you know, I think, I think like, a great, a great steak is great, but also, everybody loves a cheeseburger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that, the, the, the shoulders are generally the, yeah. Medium rare, rare? I like, so there's this thing I found out recently, about a year ago, called it Medium Rare Plus. It's like that right in between medium rare and medium. Yeah. But you kind of got to go to like a very specific place and it always comes out wrong anyway. But yeah. But yeah, I, I, you know. You like barbecue? I love barbecue. I, Nashville has some really good barbecue. It's not like a barbecue city necessarily, but like, like like Porker in Nashville on Faith Avenue is, is delicious. It's just like, yeah. Was it Porker? Porker? Yeah, Peg Lake Porker. Peg Lake per Porker. Yeah. It's, it's got Nashville. It's so shout good. out. Yeah, it's amazing. I gotta give a shout out to Kansas City. We live in Kansas City, so yeah, we have yeah. good barbecue yeah. there too. Burnt ends. Yeah, really Love it. Okay. So cool. And they're always on the Food Network too. They always yeah, got yeah, burn in. Yeah. Guy Ferrari or No, there's like one barbecue place. Uh, uh, forgive me. It's famous for burn ends. I don't remember the name of it. Right. Yeah, I've seen them on the Food Network a couple times. They always look like yeah. delicious. Club City in Chicago, pretty good barbecue. Yeah. And they they do really good burn ends too. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Uh, so. What are you working on right now as far as projects go? Do you have any like ongoing projects? That you're I just finished my album. Okay. And we're just kind of waiting. My first single in country radio is called Love in a Bar. Okay. And so we're doing this big radio push with Love in a Bar. And once that kind of does well, we can put the whole album out. And in the meantime, I'm, I've just been writing for other people's projects. Which is interesting. I'm still considering myself a songwriter. And I, honestly, a songwriter first. My, my label probably would hate to hear me say that, but I love just like fishing for cuts, fishing for, I love trying to get on other people's projects. Do you, do you write or do you text it or do you type I've been, it? So a lot of times I write on my phone now, which I'm really embarrassed about, but traditionally oh, that. what I've always done is I write on these big yellow legal pads. Okay. It's kind of like sketch paper, like just like these, these scratch papers that kind of help me like visualize the lyrics. Yeah. And that's been a, always kind of just a great do way for me. Do you save these? Is it like, are these yeah, like in, in a trunk full of just, yeah. yeah? 
So you can go back to 2000. They're in my piano bench. Really? Yeah. Okay. A couple of, like there's a handful of them up at my lake house in Michigan. Okay. Is that the first instrument you played? Was what was piano? Or yes. Okay. Second was guitar. Guitar. Third was drums. And I'm pretty mediocre at all of them now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you produce any on like the computer? Like do you have any kind no, of I, I don't logic know. or? I've I've um. No, I leave that to others. I can't even turn my computer on, man. Seriously, I got an iPad the other day. I have no idea how to work it. They say, go ahead and start singing. Yeah. But my thing about songwriting is that everybody's going to need words no matter what. Yeah. Like, and I really am blessed to work with some great producers who are amazing at, like, building a vibe. And that's kind of how Nashville's been the last, like, two years especially is most of it starts with track building. And then we go into the studio and... Make it sound like a country song. So. T Swift, Taylor Swift. I, I just, I got one quite right here. Taylor Swift. Do you like her? Is I it? love Taylor Swift. Yeah. She's amazing. She's brilliant. Yeah. She's one of the best songwriters you've ever had. She's tonight. right out of Henderson. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Over there. Do you yeah. grow up in Nashville? No, I grew up in West Michigan. Okay. I'm from Chicago, but I grew up in West Michigan in, in Kalamazoo. Okay, I see. No, yeah, and then moved to Nashville for college. Kalamazoo. Yeah. We interviewed a man that was. You did, yeah. Who's that? Diarrhea Planet? They're from Nashville too. They have guys from Kansas, but yeah, they live in Nashville. Yeah. You, you know really about them? Cool. Yeah, I know those guys. That's crazy. Diarrhea Planet in the bathroom. Yeah. Right. yeah. So let's push your, I can push you to a single. What's the name again? My single on Country Raider right now is called Love in a Bar. Love and, in a Bar. Which is ironic here because we're in a bar. And I'm serving drinks. So yes. anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Can Anyways, I get, yeah. We, I have to go back to my day job. Can I get you guys a drink? Uh, I actually need a Pepsi. A Everybody who wears a cow suit can, I'll talk to you about whatever you want. Okay. <laughs>